Hey what is going on guys, ZK here and today welcome to the second and final part of my Forza Motorsport 6 Ultimate Features wish list. Now today what we're going to be talking about is the car variety, the music, the storefront and custom lobbies and even more than that. So if you do go ahead and enjoy this video guys, I really do appreciate you guys hitting that like button, just lets me know that you have enjoyed the video and just urges me on to make some more great videos for you guys so without further ado let's get straight into this video now i will be doing wish lists on all of the cars that i would love to see come into the game in the near future guys but for now i would just like to express my overall opinions about the cars that i want in forza motorsport 6 now as you all know forza motorsport 5 had less than half the cars that forza motorsport 4 did even after the DLC packs. Now granted, we all know that Ton 10 was rushed a bit by Microsoft to get the game ready for the launch of the Xbox One. So it is understandable that they could not match like Forza Motorsport 4 in terms of the car count, but it's no excuse now. It really, really is no excuse now. To support this point even more, we all know all of the cars in Forza Motorsport 5 and Horizon 2 have been rebuilt for the next generation. So therefore, they can easily bring them all, I mean all of them, like capital here, all of them over to Forza Motorsport 6, all of them from Forza Motorsport 5 and Horizon 2 and maybe even add some more from Forza Motorsport 4 seriously and the original Horizon. We all want cars to drive on these beautiful, beautiful tracks and it is a little bit of a letdown if we're not going to get a lot of them. I really do think they can pull this off in terms of like the car count because as I said they're not being poked with a stick by Microsoft this time and two they've had two long freaking years to add all of them in including several new models as well now I'm not hating on turn 10 as you all know I respect them for what they do uh, but sometimes you've got to be blunt and speak the truth to get the message out there so I do believe in them so here's hoping they do not disappoint on this mark. Now in terms of the cars themselves, I would actually like to see more genres slash categories of cars find their way into Forza Motorsport 6 because Turn 10 and Playground Games have shown that they are kind of heading in that direction with the latest Forza Horizon 2 DLC pack which included the new, well not the new, um, the Subaru Brat which is a really really cool little Japanese pickup truck thing. Um, and the Nissan IDX Nismo, which is essentially the brand new 510, which is really, really cool. You guys all know I love that thing to death, and I hope that's in Forza Motorsport 6 as well. But I would love to see the following classes of cars come into the game, and in a couple of cases, return and get more representation. First off, I would love to see the tiny little micro cars make a return from Forza Motorsport 4. For example, the new Toyota Aigo, the Peugeot 108, I don't exactly know how you pronounce it in any other country, but I call it a Peugeot, I know some people call it a Peugeot, <laughs> but yeah, the Peugeot 108, the Citroen C1, etc, 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 you know the little micro cars, uh, like the Chevy Spark, for example, these things were fun as hell to just fit massive engines in, make them four wheel drive, and just blast them around the track, overtaking Ferraris, Lambos, McLarens, it's unbelievable, it really, really is. So I would love to see that class of car come back. Secondly, I would like to see the GDM scene get more attention. Now, as we all know, the main majority of us that play Forza on YouTube, and you guys as well, we all love drifting. Now, these cars are not only supremely cool and hell of a good fun to customise, but they drift like absolute peaches. Now, for example, the car that's caused the most star in the past couple of games because it hasn't been in them is the Nissan S14 or the Sylvia S14. A lot of people have been chomping on the heels for turn 10 to bring this back in a pack for Horizon 2 or make it be in FM6. Now, I've got a funny feeling that the amount of people that have actually said this will make turn 10 add it back in because it is a really, really good car. Although I do prefer the 240SX SE, I prefer that one. I think it's the 
1994 year. I really, really like that one, but uh, here's, me, here's me saying that. I really, really like that one better. Um, but I know a lot of people like the actual S14 better, but yeah, we all have different tastes. That's all I can say. But yeah, I would love to see a big, big, big focus on JDM cars. Bring in some more classic Skylines. Um, try to think what else could they bring in. I don't really know. If you guys have any JDM cars that you want to see in a future wish list, which is going to be coming, it's going to be all about like tuner cars, it's going to be like drifting cars, etc, etc, etc. Now, I don't know if they will do a Pacific drifting pack, but it'd be really, really cool to see. But yeah, if you get any cars like that, like GDM icons and stuff, leave them in the description below. Make sure it's cars that are not in the game yet, so it doesn't clog up the whole place. So yeah, moving on. Apart from these two categories of cars, Forza does provide quite a big variety of the types of vehicles that it does bring into the game. Now, I would just like to see the volume of them, the number of them, get back on track and return to the amount that Forza Motorsport 4 had, or even more, because that is what everyone wants. We want cars, we want tracks, we want customization. Now we're going to move on to the subject of selling cars and the storefront in Forza Motorsport 6. Now this bugged the hell out of me in Forza Motorsport 5 and in Horizon 2 because if I'm not using a car, I'd rather sell it than having it sitting in the garage taking up space. Now I think every single hardcore fan of the series would love to see the storefront return because there was so much you could do with it. You could buy designs, you can sell your cars to other people for a quite a good price. And yeah, it was just overall fun. Now, in Forza Motorsport 6, I would love to be able to gift people money. Now, let's just say I'm at rank 200 a couple of months after the game has been released and one of my friends has only just got the game with no cash or anything to buy his or her favourite cars. Now, I could at least just gift them like a million credits to get them started if I do have enough money in the game and that will help them out they can buy cars they can progress in their career so therefore that is actually helping another person so i would love to see gifting money in forza motorsport 6. now i don't know how some of you guys will feel about this bit but i would actually like them to keep the monthly forza rewards going because it's just like a little treat at the end of the month just think like you've been on a diet and stuff and you're like like, oh, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, and everything like that. And then you can get to eat a big, massive ice cream sundae at the end of the month. That is what the Forza rewards are. Just think about it like that. That means you can go in, you can buy new cars, you can buy upgrades for the cars, and you didn't really have to work for it. Although it is great fun having to work for your money. Um, for example, the crew, but I think that took it too far. Um, but yeah, I would really, really, really like them to keep the Forza rewards going because as I said, it's just a little cool reward at the end of the month. One of my personal pet peeves about Forza Motorsport 5 was the driver tours. Now, I love the whole concept behind the thing, but in order for that concept to be good, it needs to work. Now, in Forza Horizon 2, they're not that bad, except from the occasional times where they just try to ram you for no reason. But in Forza Motorsport 5, the best example of the driver tours causing rage was at the start of the Le Mans circuit now. At the corner, it just looked like they wanted to stick to one another. Therefore, essentially making a massive moving roadblock now. Fingers crossed they're a bit more timid and intelligent this time round in Forza Motorsport 6 because that was the thing that irritated me most about this game. It wasn't like the microtransactions, it wasn't like the lack of cars and stuff. It was the freaking driver tars, man. Seriously, they were... I don't know how to explain it. Just the rage that they can give you sometimes. I mean, in this race here, I don't know what you're looking at right now because I might have edited it down, but uh, there's a race with the 300 SL Mercedes that you're going to see, and the driver tars were behaving okay in that, but the thing is, in other tracks and other races, they're just hooligans. They really, really are. So I hope Turn 10 fix them a tiny, tiny bit to make them a wee bit more timid. Another thing that I never really liked about Forza Motorsport 5 was the fact that you could not hold custom lobbies. Now, this was quite irritating for the people who wanted to do specific things. For example, set up a drift-based lobby and go sliding around Laguna Seca with their friends, or to set up a racing-based lobby and go blasting around the Nürburgring. 
Now, along with open lobbies, I would like to see an improvement in the online servers. Now, in case you just think it's me that has crappy internet connection, I currently have the best broadband in the UK that you can get in like a deal and stuff. So it runs smooth and fine for me, but that doesn't mean that everyone has this sort of internet connection. People live out in, not in the wilderness, but you know what I mean? Like some woods and stuff and like, basically places that don't have strong internet single, that's what I'm trying to say, so, um, but yeah, I really, really, really hope that they fix the jumping cars and the lag and stuff like that, because Forza Motorsport 4 didn't have it that bad, it really, really didn't, so I had a couple of things here and there, but Forza Motorsport 5, holy crap, I mean, seriously, the need to fix the online servers for FM6. Now the final thing on my features wish list for Forza Motorsport 6 is better variety in music. Now, Forza 5 soundtrack was okay, but it didn't really match like racing around a track at 200 miles an hour. To be honest, I felt like the music was based around Forza Vista, that's including the race music. Now, this is a mode in which you can indulge yourself in the beauty of a car. One of your favourite cars out there, for example, the Lexus LFA, you can go around it and just like open up the doors, hear the exhaust note and everything. It's a really, really cool mode. I really hope that comes back for Forza Motorsport 6, but not in the way that they were doing it for, I think it was, I think it was FM5. They were basically shoving it down our throats about Forza Vista, Forza Vista, Forza Vista. So uh, I hope they don't do that. I hope it's gameplay, 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 features, 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 cars, tracks, everything like that at E3 rather than Forza Vista. So, it is a good mode, don't get me wrong about that. When I'm just sitting editing videos and that, I like to have it just going uh, on my TV and stuff because it's quite nice to look at. But yeah, apart from that, uh, yeah, I would love to see a very, very, very big variety in music because as I was saying, the, the music in Forza Motorsport 5 kind of felt more orchestra, like opera-like. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad genre of music or anything like that, I quite like it from time to time, depends on which car I'm driving and which game and stuff because it sets quite a good vibe of the game, but it's more of a Horizon 2 vibe, if you know what I mean, it's not a motorsport vibe, so in terms of vibe, they need to crank it up a little bit, they need to suit the music for the type of game that it is, if you get what I mean. Now in Forza Motorsport 4 and Forza Horizon 1 and 2, they had great soundtracks because they had a lot of variety surrounding them. For example, dance music, drum and bass, rock, indie, etc, etc, etc. Now, granted, I don't think Duke Dumont or Avicii would work in Forza Motorsport 6, but it would be a great idea to see like more upbeat slash hyped up vibe songs from bands like Pendulum, The Prodigy, Sigma, ACDC would be good, Linkin Park, etc. But Basically what I'm trying to say is that it'd be great to have like a Forza Horizon 2 styled, uh, well not a radio station, but sort of music list in this because I feel as that, I feel as if that is the modern way to do things obviously because Need for Speed's been doing it for years, I'm trying to think of any other games that's been doing it like proper licensed racing game tracks, but yeah, people, people have a wide variety in music, I'm not saying that I only want dance and dubstep and everything in, I don't really want dubstep, but um, yeah, I'm not saying I only really want dance or drum and bass in because people have a big variety in music. Some people like rock, some people like heavy metal, some people like dance, some people like I mean, electro, I don't know, but you know what I mean, everyone has different tastes, so yeah, um, I would also like different sorts of music playing in the background when you're in a different sort of car, like a certain type of car. For example, if you're in a Koenigsegg or Jera can full speed down Le Mans, then that would be a great scene for like Through the Fire and the Flames by Dragon Force. <laughs> and then if you're in like an Alfa Romeo cruising down like a mountain road or something like that, if they do, fingers crossed, add a mountain road in, then the song has to be On Days Like This by Matt Monroe. And if you don't know what that song is, Think of the star of the Italian job, the original one. On days like these, that one. So, it, just a perfect, 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 perfect song there. Perfect. I was speaking Irish, but yeah, uh, it would just be a perfect song for that sort of scene. So that has been it for my Forza Motorsport 6 Ultimate Features wish list. Now, as you all know, guys, I will be doing car wish lists in the coming weeks. Now, 
I kind of want to leave it until around the middle of February, start of March, because that means more cars are going to be coming out. That means the latest cars of this year will probably be announced. I'm not too sure when the next major auto show is, but it'd be really, really, really cool to actually leave it until then to get like the latest cars on the list. But as I said, I'm going to be doing like several categories, like small cars, muscle cars, supercars, hypercars, any type of car that you can name. But if you guys want to leave any cars that you want me to feature on the list to make sure that Turn 10 does get the message, then leave them in the comments below, along with any other features that I've not included, because I always love hearing your guys' like, um, intake on the game, because as you all know, I respond to your comments every single day, I mean, nearly non-stop. As soon as someone drops it, I kind of get back to them, so, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching this guys, if you have enjoyed it, as I said at the start, please do leave it a like, it is much appreciated, and also subscribe if you want to hear the latest on Forza Motorsport 6, and for all my future wish lists to come. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in tomorrow's video, as always, see you next time guys, peace.